Let's talk about hour hand and minute hand. For an hour hand in a clock to complete one rotation, it takes 12 hours and covers 360 degrees. So in one hour, how many degrees it will cover? We divide 360 degrees by 12. So 360 degrees divided by 12 hours. We'll divide both of these values by 12. So we get 30 degrees on the top and one hour in the bottom. So an hour hand in one hour will cover 30 degrees. A minute hand completes one rotation in 60 minutes and will cover 360 degrees. So in one minute, how many degrees will it cover? So you divide 360 degrees by 60 minutes and divide both of these values by 60. So in one minute, a minute hand will cover six degrees. Let's go back to our concept here. We're going to divide this problem into two parts. So one part we will talk about hour hand and second part about minute hand. For hour hand, we will write down four hours and 15 minutes using plus sign. So we will say four hours plus 15 minutes. For minute hand, we will only use minute parts so 15 minutes. Now we will convert 15 minutes to hours. We will divide 15 minutes by 60 to convert these minutes into hours. When we reduce it, we get four hours plus another one fourth hours. So with total, we get 17 over four hours. We know that in one hour, the hour hand moves 30 degrees. So in 17 over four hours, it will move 17 over four times 30 degrees. And that will equal 127.5 degrees. So that angle would be this. You start from 12 and you go to here. It's that angle. Now let's look at the minute hand. Minute hand, we don't have to convert into anything because it's in terms of minutes. So we know that in in one minute, a minute hand covers six degrees. So in 15 minutes, it will cover six degrees times 15 minutes equals 90 degrees. So this value, so if this angle you want to see it, it will be start from 12 goes to here. So that's 90 degrees. Now we're looking for the smaller angle formed by these two angles, the purple angle. So what we will do is we're going to take the red angle and we will subtract the orange angle from it but the angle measure in the clock should be positive so we will take the absolute value of angle formed by an hour hand minus angle formed by a minute hand which is equal to angle formed by the hour hand is 127.5 degrees and you subtract angle formed by the minute hand which is 90 degrees and that is equals 37.5 degrees by looking at the picture hope you're means that that angle is an acute angle. It's 37.5 degrees. Hope this will help you.